Are you ready to unlock the power of creating animated videos like this? Well, this is how to use Adobe Illustrator and After Effects to create anything with vector motion graphics. All right, so before we get started animating our vector graphics, you'll need to know where you can get these bad boys. I like to use a site called Free Picks because, well, it's free. <laughs> but in general, you can search online for free vectors until you find something that you like. So when you get your hands on vector graphics, you'll be able to open the .ai or .eps document in Adobe Illustrator. And what we need to do is separate this graphic into layers for us to animate in After Effects. And we can do this by selecting our top layer and then go into Object, Ungroup. Then highlight the next layer down and click the icon next to Layers and select Release the Layer Sequence. Now, all these layers are going to be separated and we can remove them from their parent layer by highlighting them all and then dragging them outside just like this. Then, we can go through and delete any parts of the vector that we don't want to have transferred over to After Effects and once you're ready, just save this project as an Illustrator document and you're good to go. Up over to After Effects, be sure to get your hands on my free template pack, seamless and trendy transitions, and powerful motion graphics that you can customize in no time. This comes with our free motion dock extension where you can add thousands of templates and presets directly into Premiere Pro and After Effects, and then suit them to fit your vision in seconds. If you do check out anything, you will be supporting this channel, so thank you very much. All right, back here in After Effects, we can drag and drop that Illustrator document right into the project panel and import it as a composition, and then click OK. Now, all those layers that we've made in Illustrator are gonna be here in After Effects and ready to be animated. The most important thing to do before we start animating is to make sure that the anchor points are in the right spots. So by default, your vector should import every layer of the anchor point at the center of the composition, and you can fix this by simply using the pan behind tool to move it where it needs to go. Now we can finally start animating the different parts of our vector composition however we need. For example, we can take the moon layer and give it a keyframe for position and then animate it slowly rising over the course of the comp. We could also go to the mountain layer and set a keyframe for scale and then have it animate in at the start of the comp. Or we get more advanced and use something like the puppet pin tool on the trees to animate the branches swaying in the wind as part of the composition. Now at any point while you're working on this in After Effects, you can go back into Illustrator and change things like the colors of the graphics and then when you save that project, it will automatically update over in After Effects in real time. By using this workflow, you can take any kind of vector graphic project that you have, get it in After Effects and animate it to create something truly amazing.